Watch Legal Straight Talk right here on Long Island Public Access Channel 20. I am Tommy Maugh, otherwise known as the Maverick Soul. And I am live in the Madhouse for my show, Maverick Soul Hour. Come and join us. It's the place to be. Right here on Madhouse TV, Sunday nights at 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And we will put you out to the entire world. You got that right. Why are you playing with your toys? I want to man house day big. Hi everybody, welcome to the Filmmaker Show. I am Jerry Parisi with my lovely wife. Michelle Parisi. And you know what? I keep forgetting that I'm not supposed to do that anymore. That's right. That's why I paused for a second. I did remember my name. You, you did? <laughs> yes. Like that's so amazing. Cheryl, write that down. She remembers her name. <laughs> so we got an interesting we have, Yes, we have an oh, exciting Wait a second. Wait. <laughs> Which one do you want to start with? You... We have an exciting show tonight. I know, that's why I'm so excited. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. We met a wonderful bunch of young ladies and men, young lady and men, um, when we did the Old Beth Page restoration. They played incredibly, and their name is the Brass Blast. Did you get that deal? I did, and I'd like to introduce Chris and Alex and Chris and Mike and Marty. Say that three times fast. <laughs> <laughs> and they make up the group. The Brass Blast. Yes. Welcome, guys. Welcome to the Thanks show. Thanks for having, Thanks us. having us. Thanks for having us. We're very, very proud and honored after watching you play for two or three years that we were at the uh, restoration. You were always so right on. I was like, you give everybody chills to watch you guys. Oh, and so tonight we're lucky to have you here, but you're not playing. Christmas songs, dreaded Christmas songs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, Christmas songs. <laughs> no, they're, they're skipping that this time. Thank God. Yeah. But um, I, I, I'm so... But everybody is in for a real treat. They are in for a real yes. treat. But I'm so excited to have you start playing, but I, I really want to talk to you first. How do you feel about that? I think we should talk first. It's a good like, idea. I'd like to know from you guys how you all got started playing together. Well, um, we've all known each other for a really long time. We all went to Nassau Community College together, and then we all ended up at Five Towns College together, and that's mm. kind of where we started our Except for group. Me. Well, I was uh, an outcast. From what? Towns, yeah, he's so an outcast. I went, to, uh, I went to SUNY Potsdam, and I just recently came back from school, and luckily uh, I hooked back up with these guys. They needed a trumpet player, and you know, Fit the rest right is away. history. Yeah. Yeah. What about you, Mike? Where, 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 where do you hail from, and how do you do that? Um, I started at Nassau, too. Then I, uh, I transferred to SUNY Oneonta to finish my bachelor's, and then I did my master's at Five Towns College with all these guys. And Chris? I'm, I'm still a student, so I'm the only one that's not accomplished, <laughs> I could say. Um, so I'm, I went to Nassau as well with all of them a few years ago, so and this is where we meet up at Five Towns. So. Mm. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. And so how did you guys decide you were going to become a band? and? and I guess choose the particular instruments to play in the band, and then what gave you this idea to, I guess, make it go forward and find the work that you do? Um, well, I would, I guess I'm gonna speak for all of us. We've all probably been playing our instruments for probably half of our life, so wow. we've already been playing these instruments when we met each other. Um, so that just kind of fell into place. And now, do you guys play other instruments, or this is your instrument? Yeah, we all kind of probably dabble in other instruments. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, if we're, te we're teachers and. Could you be a rock band? Uh, possibly. Yeah, anything's possible. <laughs> I think, yeah, anything's possible. A brass ensemble rock band. A brass ensemble rock band. Yeah, that would be cool. I think we do. Yeah, why not? There you yeah, go. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Who chooses the music you play when it's not the Christmas time, which is the pretty much set stuff? Um, what we do is we kind of just like 
throw it out there and we all give it a listen and we all have an idea of who likes it and what the, who doesn't like it and yeah. we usually all agree so that's pretty good. That's good. Mm -hmm. yeah. And when you practice at the school or at each other's homes or yeah, it's usually at, at the school. school. Very, it's very cool. Spot. Very cool. So besides the the big gala at the Beth Page Restoration, where else do you guys play? Um, we all play at different places. I mean, mm -hmm. we're all in different bands. Um, I've played at art museums. Um, Chris, you're in a Scotland. Yeah, I've played venues like Irving Plaza, Paramount, 89 North. We've gone on tour with my bands. Yeah. Very nice. cool. Yeah. As yeah. far as we're concerned, we, we haven't played a whole lot of things just yet, but we all do other things together. This is kind of like our additional group. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where do you guys, I mean, you set your sights on something. Someday you want to play in a symphony, are you looking to do Broadway? Where are some of your sights? I'd love to hear like where your goals are. Broadway would be cool for me. Broadway. Yeah, Broadway. Yeah. Yeah. Main Broadway. Street for me, but no. <laughs> Broadway for you. Broadway. Yeah. Broadway. Or the symphony, I think. I yeah. definitely want to the band make, made it. <laughs> Very not likely, but, you know, we'll keep going. So that's where I like. I like the big stage. The big, the big stage. stage. I really stage, like to play, people. but I, I really don't have much aspirations to play anywhere big. I want to be a, a teacher. And mm. mold the minds of today's youth. I think that's I, do you have a, a more do you have a teaching music degree? Uh, I'm finishing up my degree right now. I'm actually student teaching in a couple different schools around the island, um, and it's phenomenal. Mm -hmm. You know, these young children they pick up on concepts so readily, and it just astounds you mm -hmm. because things. If I were to try and teach to even you guys, you know, they they can pick it up in a day with, when it might take you a week or two. Just their their minds are little sponges. They're very mo yeah. unbelievable to me. Yeah, little kids are great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can't get enough. They're fun. That's interesting. So, um, in, in terms of teaching, you are a teacher already. Yes, I teach at uh, Catholic schools and private schools all over the island in Queens. So you really have a very filled schedule. Monday or one place, Tuesday or another. Yeah. Am I might understand. Different every single day. Mm -hmm. mm. But you work for a company, I guess, that sets you to these places. Yep. I guess sort of like you with the autism. Right, and the tutoring. And the tutoring yes. and things like that. Mm -hmm. Unlike me, who makes believe he knows what he's doing and just shows up. <laughs> and that's exactly you right. You just kind of shuffle along. <laughs> <laughs> shuffle along, you know. That's uh, interesting. So what are some of the songs that we can hear during this first segment of our show tonight? Huh? Well, the first song we're going to play is uh, Minuet from the Roll of Fireworks by, uh, by Handel. Oh, that's nice. And then after that? The music from Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah, Ooh, the Pirates of the Medley Caribbean. Yeah. Johnny Depp, you hear that? Mm. That's where you are. <laughs> and and what are we going to expect? Two per show? Because we have two shows. Um, and and we, uh, we have three, I think. Three, three. per show. Yeah. Very good. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Um, you know what? It's eight minutes after seven already, and I think that we're ready for a, a song or two. So um, if you guys wouldn't mind, and while they're getting themselves ready, hey, the Solori Glory Hour is back on Madhouse TV, and it's on Mondays, and I believe it's on, did she say 6 to 7 or 7 to 8, Cheryl? What was that? It was 6 to 7, so here on Madhouse TV on Mondays. And there'll be some new changes with some new shows coming on our channel, and that's exciting. Uh, the Filmmaker Show might be moving a little bit here and there. I believe we're keeping our same day, but the big announcement will come from the, uh, the people who own the station, and then we'll be able to do that. Uh, but in the meantime, the Brass Blast Band, and I have to say that very carefully, I don't want to say it wrongly, will uh, start playing their minuet in, what was that again? By Handel. Minuet by from Handel. From the Royal Fireworks. And what's the name of it? It's from the Royal Fireworks. It's from the Royal yeah. Fireworks. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't know much about the Royal Fireworks, <laughs> but uh, guys... But have you heard of Handel? I have a hand right here and handle that. <laughs> yes, I have heard of Very handle. good. Very good. I'm impressed. Him, Bach, Beethoven, Handel, Cezanne. They're all the same guy. Yes. <laughs> all right. So with that, the brass blast, ladies and gentlemen, enjoy. Thank you. 
That's awesome. Um, and what's the next song? Music from the Pirates of the Caribbean. Ah, the music from the Pirates of the Caribbean. Did I say that? Penzance? Penzance or Caribbean? Pirates, Caribbean. Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah, because there is a Pirates of Penzance. It just dawned on me. You want to be on Broadway? And I was, wait a second. <laughs> that was on Broadway. My no. knowledge is precedes me, dear. It's the Caribbean. The Caribbean. Okay. Yes. yes. <laughs> All right. That, that was great. Mm -hmm. That was Thank wonderful. You. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks. <laughs> you ready? This actually is an arrangement by our very own Mike. Yes. Woo. An arrangement by Mike. There you go. Mike okay, McGowan. Very good. Thank you. 
guys. And what's your third song? Beyond the Sea. Beyond also the sea. arranged by Mike. Ah, Beyond Mike the Sea. Mike tends to arrange a lot of our stuff. Mm -hmm. That's very nice. All right, this is good. I, I'm sure everybody's very entertained. I, I know I'm really... Yeah, this is fabulous. Oh, fabulous. This is great. Yeah. They're helping our ratings, dear. We look good tonight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Every time I'm around you guys, I suddenly sink back into the Scrooge voice. Yeah. Yeah. But you want to know what I do? That I went on an audition about four weeks ago. Honest to God, it's an, uh, it was an exercising video. I went, okay, so I'm going. And as I'm going, they're, this, and they're asking me these questions. And I'm doing these little things. And suddenly, I started losing it. Oh, and they're like... <laughs> His voice is changing. I can't get rid of this probably till March. Okay. <laughs> All right, without further ado, another uh, arrangement by Mike McGowan. What was the name again? It's Beyond the Sea. Beyond the Sea. Beyond the Sea. Oh, sorry. So, Go ahead. <laughs> right. One, two. So um, what I was going to say, guys, is um, well, I guess you can bring your stands down for a few seconds. Though. Um, for each of your different instruments, for the people who just admire music but really don't know much about the brass, I was going to say, what, what, where do you fall in? Like, is it a high, a low? or Give me your description of your, your instrument, what you're playing, so people would know and, and where it goes. Good question. Yeah, thanks. I thought I'd... He's like, okay, but it's not a good question because I don't know what he's going to say to me. <laughs> no, actually, it's actually a really good question. Um, I think the best way to describe it would actually be to describe it like a, like a pyramid. Okay. And um, yeah. my instrument would be the top of the pyramid. Because it's the best. This is on the top. Trumpet players. Vicky, did you that? That's the best. I love it. Yeah, we are. It's, yeah. And the bit, you know, so the bottom would be tuba, and up from there would be French horn and trombone. Mm -hmm. And and the tuba, I, I assume, acts like the bass in a way? Yeah. It's a bass line. Okay. Mm -hmm. And now, because my son plays a French horn, I have no clue and don't really know. Mm -hmm. And you're on the French horn. Where does that fit in? What is that? Um, we would probably be right underneath the trumpet. Um, we're kind of like a mid-range instrument. We can play low. We can play high. So we're kind of right in the middle. Um, 
usually in bands, we don't get much melody. We get like this cool little harmony. Right. Uh -huh. Right. Yeah. And Mike, I mean, um, the backbone here. I mean, your yours is a trombone. Yeah, this is a tenor trombone. Um, tenor trombone. Yeah, it has a, an F attachment, so it helps with the lower range. But uh, you know, it's maybe just under the French horn. Um, yeah. There are a lot of parts in orchestral music and things <clears throat> like that where our parts are doubled. The same. Yeah. And yeah. That's pretty cool, and that's what that that full rich sound. Mm -hmm that comes out of that, you know? That's awesome. Um, so where in the summertime, but before I ask you that, if anybody wants to get in touch with them, what's a good way to find you guys as the Brass Blast? Well, we're on Facebook. We're on Facebook. Uh, Facebook. The Brass Blast of Long Island is our name. So you the Brass it. Blast of Long Island. Yeah. I'm glad you said that, because yeah. I didn't know that. But yeah. that's okay, so the Brass Blast. you can find Blast. us on Facebook, Brass Blast of Long Island. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and you can message us there. And yeah. is that, the there's an email on there, yeah, and it'll, it'll hit one of us, yeah. and we'll respond. Very cool, very cool. And you guys do actually play gigs. I mean, like, if a block party or, or something is needed with you guys, I mean, you certainly have enough music that you could do that, or... Oh, yeah. I, yeah, I yeah, could imagine, yeah, sure, sure. Any kind of classy event, you know, we don't just play, you know... Theme songs from movies. Um, Rats! I you were looking for a nice, maybe you have a, a meeting of administrators yeah. and you would like to have some nice music. We do know a lot of classical repertoire. Yeah, and even weddings. Mm -hmm. We have some uh, wedding. weddings. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. nice. Yeah. So mm. We're not just we're very versatile. To what you hear right now, we're yeah. very yeah. versatile. Mm -hmm. Now, the other bands that you guys are associated with, is it a completely different kind of music? Oh, yeah. Or oh, yes, absolutely. So yeah. tell, tell us about that. What's um, so I play in two other bands. Uh, one is called The Pandemics, and that's what uh, we're a ska band. Um, so we're not very cool, as most people would say. <laughs> um, but no, we actually we, um, we have a lot of fun. It's very dancey, fun, good music. Um, you can check them out if anyone's interested uh, at thepandemics.nyc. And we're also there on Facebook. And I also play in a band called Fuzz. And uh, I'm the youngest member by 30 years in that band. But they're a ton of fun. A lot of really experienced, very talented cats. And wow. um, we play funky music um, and pop hits like Uptown Funk. And, uh -huh. um, you know, old funk hits like Chicago. And very all nice. Cool. Stuff. Yes. Nice. And there, um, the website for them is uh, fuzzbandnyc.com. And they're also like Fuzz Band on Facebook. Mm. Check them out. Like? They're very cool. Um, I'm in a few different bands. Um, I recently played with the, the Long Island Pops Orchestra, which oh. is actually mm -hmm. really uh, with one of our teachers that we all kind of got us together, I think, mm -hmm. at Nassau. Um, his name's Dean Carahalis, so he's the conductor of the Long Island um, Pops Orchestra. So that's fun to play with. And I also play with a cover band sometimes. They're called the Suburban Brothers Band. Um, it's my boyfriend's dad's band. Okay. And, um, they're very cool. Uh, we play a lot of covers, um, a lot of old songs, some new songs, some jazzy songs, uh, some rock and roll. Um, and I play French horn with them. So very nice. cool. A little out of place, nice. but it's cool. And I'm in a few orchestras on the island. And nice. a few orchestras. Yeah. <laughs> Seven or eight of them. No big deal. And Chris, what about you? Well, I'm in a couple of bands, mostly with the uh, Salvation Army. Um, oh, that's nice. Yeah, so um, <laughs> I'm in the New York Staff Band and um, in the New York Youth Band. Uh, the staff band, actually, we were going to Cuba in a few, like, tomorrow, I think, yeah. Tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow, so, I think. Um, do you know Charles Roberts by some chance? Yes, I do. You do? I do. Look at that. <laughs> yes. Wow. So, Holy uh, man of Facebook? Yeah. They always throw something in there that'll drive him crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah. yeah. So. Awesome, awesome. And, Mike, what about you, sir? During the summer, that's when I really pick up my freelancing. I play in a couple of marching bands. The one that I play with the most is called the Tap and Seat Bridgman. And uh, we get called to play in volunteer fire department's parades. Oh, and nice. uh, we play also St. Patrick's Day Parade yeah. every year. So nice. yeah, oh, it's a lot of fun. I have a question for you on the next show. Go ahead. How um, about you, Marty? <laughs> I actually just came back to the area, um, so I'm not too well known right now. Uh, but when I was living back here, I used to play with uh, a couple of different marching bands, like Mike. Mm -hmm. um, one of them was the, uh, Our Lady of Good Counsel, located in Inwood, New York. Oh. Phenomenal group. Um, Again, probably the youngest by 40 years in that group. <laughs> yeah, uh, but they were, you, you learn a lot from people who've been playing these instruments sure. their whole lives. You, know, <clears throat> you do. There's things you can't learn in school. You know, you never That's stop learning. And speaking of learning, right. I'm learning at the clock right here. It's time to say our so longs. But if you guys are watching us on Madhouse TV Live tonight, stick around. The next show is coming right up. 
And uh, before we depart from this show, and I'd like to point out that they will be right back on the next show. Now, if and you there'll be, be some more songs that they're going to be playing. Tomorrow. There will be some more yes. songs. But if you're also watching us on Channel 20, well, you're out of luck. you got to wait till next week. <laughs> so, so write that down. <laughs> write that down. Um, I want to thank Cheryl Dobbins, our coordinating producer. Alana, who is out there on the West Coast working real hard for us. Thanks, Alana. I appreciate all the help. Jackie, and you as well for all the work you guys do behind the scenes. Michelle, thank you. You do always an amazing job. And to the four eclectic people who are going to be running the greatest wine and cheese house in the world. To Vicki Mealy, my thanks to you, Vicki. Tommy Marr, the icon. Uh, Janine Zerilli and Tom Mealy. On behalf of all of them and all of you, I want to say good night. But stick around. We'll be right back for the next portion of our show. See you in a few minutes. What's the exact street? Well, if anybody and... knows Amity Village, Amityville Village, you know that you know Broadway is an extension of Route 110. Okay. So if you take 110 south all mm. the way to the very end, you're going to come to a point where there's a split in the road, and there's a beautiful white gazebo that sits right in the heart of the village. So if you take 110 south and you go underneath the railroad trestle and you're down in the village itself, as soon as you get to that split, before you go to the right or the left of the of the beautiful gazebo that's sitting there we are directly on the left hand side we took over the old lang shoe store so people that remember langs from i mean they've been in business since 1929 wow and have been in amityville village since 1929 so um they weren't at the store we they were across the street but they moved uh across to with the spot we were in 1962. so they were lang shoe store from 1962 in that spot all the way up to five years ago. In fact, there's such a, um, a, uh, a buzz about Lang that somebody actually bought the sign that says Lang's since really? 1929. Wow. So it was an antique item that uh, they're going to be taking down off the building soon. Watch Legal Straight Talk right here on Long Island Public Access Channel 20. I am Tommy Maugh, otherwise known as the Maverick Soul. And I am live in the Madhouse for my show, the Maverick Soul Hour. Come and join us. It's the place to be. Right here on Madhouse TV, Sunday nights at 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And we will put you out to the entire world. You got that right. Playing with your toys. I want to man house day big.
humbug. Hi guys, welcome back for those of you who are here on Madhouse TV. And if you're tuning in on Channel 20, welcome tonight. We have a fun show, a wonderful uh, set of musicians are with us again. And they are known as the Brass Blast of Long Island. And my dear... We're fortunate to have them back again. We are fortunate to have them back. Yeah. What did you think of them during the Christmas time when we did all that great stuff over at Restoration? Uh, they were phenomenal Restoration. and I felt like they really set the stage for the whole ambiance of... Old Bethpage Village, what they were trying to accomplish there. You know what I loved about them was was the was the way it came across because it's very traditional music during Christmas time, mm -hmm. and boom, 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 boom. You know, just the beats. Yes. But you know what it was so remarkable was how tight they are. I mean, they they sound they, like they've been they playing fifty out. years. They stand out. And only in the twenties. <laughs> well, they stand out. People are, and you know gathering there. There's the vendors that are selling stuff. Yes, the it vendors just, who are selling stuff. The, <laughs> as a matter of fact, this is from one of the vendors. Oh, it's nice. Nice. It's really nice. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you reintroduce everybody? <laughs> okay, I have to remember all the names again. You're being okay. quizzed. Chris, Alex, Chris, mm -hmm. Mike, and Marty. Whoa, you got a gold star. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> nice. And on our last show, you did some songs, and you'll be doing some for us tonight again. Yeah. Correct. Mm -hmm. one, uh, one of the things that you talked about on the last show was that you um, wrote some of the adaptations yeah. of the pieces that you did. How do you do that? What inspires you, and how does that, how does that work out? All right, well, the reason why I really got into starting to write is that my last semester at Oneonta, one of my professors, he was like, I really want you to write something. I said, okay, so I wrote something, and that's really what started everything. And then we started doing this brass ensemble, and uh, you know, I love to listen to music, and I love some of the movie songs that I picked out. And I would, I would sit in my room and just listen for hours, write on a piece of paper, <laughs> and then put it onto my, uh, my music software, and then I would print it out, and then there you go. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's and what, what, inspire, than... what inspires you to put certain instruments in certain spots? Just the way that it sounds? What you yeah, feel like usually like uh, I'll listen to it and if there's a lower register, like if there's something written for like, you know, a string quintet, if the, like, the, like the cello has a, a lead, I'll write it for like, you know, the trombone or the tuba. But mm -hmm. if it's a violins and things like that, I'll pick the trumpets or the French horns. Mm. Oh, very interesting. interesting. Yeah, it is, isn't it? And you mentioned music software. What is that about? Um, it's called Sibelius, so basically I could write out entire scores online uh, oh. on my computer and I could upload them, make them into PDFs, and then I could hand them out to everyone. Instead of doing it the old-fashioned way, like yeah. by handwriting. Hand. <laughs> oh, right, wow. doing a little, little dots on the, yeah. on the paper. Yeah. Very, very cool. Here it sounds too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So, um, if you weren't playing these instruments, what are some of the other instruments that you would play that you might feel that just as good or... or Maybe not as good, but I mean, I'm, I'm that you could step in and that play. you could step in and play. Good uh, sure. Um, I really love to play the piano, and the piano loves you. Yeah. It told me um, today. Well, it said, "I love him." It, it whispers in my ear a lot. So <laughs> really? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he should. He should see what we saw yesterday. Oh, don't tell him that. It's X-rated. Oh, not that. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, no. Sounds like my kind of party. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I, was talk, I was talking about Joe Fuco's music oh, studio. Oh, yeah, Joe Fuco's. Well, it's a little hard to explain somebody that plays 37 instruments, teaches, played with Billy Bauer, Eldini, played with Les Paul, has his original, one of his original cut guitars, wow. the wow. Gibson stereo worth about 15000 His music center has maybe two or 300 uh, pieces of equipment for sale. And not to mention, when we all played in that band, those amplifiers you saw in the studio were the ones we were on St. Matthias and Christ I know, and stage. And, and if people keep track of what we're going to be doing in upcoming shows, he is going to be coming on one of our upcoming That's right, he is. Shows. And it's so, important you know about him. But he had, later. he had a whole array of different keyboards. Mm. Well, so he'll also be able to play a guitar, put on loud enough, bang the strings hard enough mm -hmm. and then play with a different discipline the pianos on different levels. That's not an easy task, I'm oh, wow. going to assume, because I can't do it. Yeah. But 
but back to you. Now, Mike, what about so you? So if you can't do it, it that's it. It's not even buzzing. worth doing if I can't do it. What about you, Mike? If you had another instrument to play? Well, this actually wasn't my main instrument. My main instrument was the euphonium. It's also known as the baritone horn. Oh. It's okay. similar to this. It kind of sounds like a, a French horn and a trombone, but I guess it looks like a baby tuba. Yeah, mm -hmm. a baby, baby tuba. tuba. Oh. Yeah. What do you feed baby tubas? Oh, carrots. <laughs> <laughs> carrots. 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 That's about it, pretty much for me. I I would say I dabble in piano, but um, mm -hmm. uh, when you play trumpet, you pretty much only use these this hand barely. So when I go to play piano, it's just like I don't even know what my left hand's supposed to do. Wow. <laughs> it's just like it doesn't work. It's That's like. So do you know what my biggest mistake what ever was? I had a Gibson three thirty. Okay, yeah. that was an old nineteen fifty seven red uh, Gibson guitar. It's double cutaway. And I had bought it, and then I had taken it over to Alex Music. Alex was a place on 48th Street, across the street from Manny's years ago. And, and you may not know these, this is way before you were born, these big instrument centers. And he made it into a stereo for me, which is similar to B.B. King's guitar, which is a 340, and anyway, 335, 340, it was a 345 is, is B.B. King's guitar. And do you know I sold it for only $195? And if... I, that and my original Mustang would have brought thousands today mm -hmm. had I still had them. Mm -hmm. Big mistake. So yeah. I would say always never trade in the instruments you're working on. Keep building on it, you know. Mm -hmm. And you got some songs again. Yes. Oh, we need to hear some more songs. We're going to need some songs. So let's, uh, without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, sit back and enjoy these uh, folks. They are the Brass Band. Did I say that right? No. Brass, no. Brass Blast. Brass Blast. Brass Blast. Of Long Island. I, sooner or later, I have to actually memorize these things. You'll know that I will. Um, in the meantime, when they're getting set up, don't forget Benny Goots, who used, we're using his set tonight. Thank you, Benny. We can never forget the Goots show. Great show. That's on Tuesdays at six here on Madhouse TV. And don't forget, guys, in the spring, the Giants Madhouse Cafe, known as the Mousetrap Cafe, and that will be opening up in Amityville. Stay tuned for the date. Oh, yeah, and stay tuned for the dates. Just because of the weather, a few little things have been pushed back, but don't worry, you'll find out. Uh, and without any further ado, the... Say it? The Brass something... Oh, I, got, I got all their names! Oh, I got all their names. I got the Brass, Brass Blast, Blast of Long Island. Brass Blast. I told you to study we, this, we, we, you we didn't. That. <laughs> something. <laughs> All right, sure. ladies and gentlemen. Uh, What's the name of this song you're going to do? This is uh, the theme song to Game of
composition for the second show would be? Um, this is a bit of a, a classical medley. It's a okay. bunch of different famous old classical songs you'll probably recognize. You them. mean like Top Cat? No. We got a little older. We got a little Mozart. We got a little Beethoven. We got a little Strauss. Nice. It sounds good. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, the Brass Blast of the Long Island. <clears throat> It comes to um, my attention that uh, we here at Madhouse TV, uh, the shows that are on Channel 20, are also going to be going very soon to New York City. And we're very, very excited about that. So I wonder if there was a song you could choose about our station that's soon going to be in the city, not just Long Island here. What song might you have handy? I think there's to, only really one we, song. We might have it. You might, might have, have a song. Possibly. Possibly. You want us to just play it for you? Yeah. Well, let's see how it sounds. I think that sounds like a great idea. Let's uh, go. One, two, three. <laughs> Thank you. 
How many years are you playing your instruments? Oh man. Um, a lot. 14 years. Yeah. 14 years? Yeah, since I was 10. Yeah. It's really right. easy to remember. Oh. That means he's 24 now. Yeah, Good math. Yeah, that was done without common core. Without common core. Good job. You're going to end up with seven. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it took you five minutes. So. And how about you, sweetheart? Same. 14 years. 14 years. Yeah. And you're, and, and you're not 24, though. Yes, I am. You are? Yes. Oh, wow, look at that. That was a, that was a lucky guess. So, <laughs> well, I've been playing for about nine years. So since I was 12. Since you were 12. 12 would be 63. Carry the one. 63. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, according to Common Core, he hasn't been born yet. Oh, yeah, right? right? <laughs> That's true, <Right>? yeah. <laughs> and Mike, what about you? Oh, about right? 15 years now. About 15 years. Oh, awesome. awesome. It's going to be my 17th year playing this instrument. 17th wow. year? We didn't ask you that. Though. We were going to ask you something normal. <laughs> <laughs> like, what milk do you drink in the morning? 1%. Stu Leonard's. <laughs> Just open it for me now. <laughs> oh, God. So, um... Before, you know, why, why, you guys can sit and stuff, but, um, and just drop those things so she can see it. But I wanted to ask you on this show, because depending on where it's seen, Channel 20, or some people just tuning in, how can they get a hold of the Brass Blast all of Long Island, New York? Uh, how can they get in touch with you guys? Well, we have a Facebook page. Yeah, okay. You can get uh, messages on that. And we'll contact you. Yeah, our nice. email address is there as well. Yeah. Oh, the, the email Facebook address page. is there. And, and yeah. what kind of venues do you perform at? Just anything, anything. Yeah, anything. Yeah, yeah. you know, yeah. you want music, we'll be there. Yeah, if you no? want. Yeah, just it's ask. so funny because the laundromat just opened up. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take it. Yeah, we'll take it. Nothing <laughs> quite like a fanfare for a new laundromat. It's true. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my we God. play, yeah, while you walk in, we'll stand on the sides. Uh -huh. People can walk in, we'll nice play you a fanfare. Yeah. Yeah. And then the, while the dryer is on, they can use that. That's a great idea. Maybe you can incorporate the dryer sound into it. Yeah. That could be, yeah, that could be our percussion. Our drone. That sounds very cool. You know, it must be phenomenal to be you guys because you guys get standing ovations at the 
Beth Page <laughs> Restoration. And I'm not afraid to say how good you are. Really, when we're behind stage listening to you guys, it's like a thrill to us, you know? Yeah. It's like, wow, how do we measure up to that act now? Oh. <laughs> Actually, one of our videos, yeah. 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 there's a video of some of us dancing behind stage. Oh, behind yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh, that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's good. That's, that's what we want to do. We want to make people dance. Exactly. And you know you do a, a beautiful job of it. And and uh, we got a few more minutes left, but I don't want to forget a few things. We'll come back to you in a second. But I wanted to, first of all, uh, thank our new California correspondent who does so much work on, on the IMDB and everything else. That's Atlanta Phillips. Jackie, you're always around to help us with great stuff. Cheryl, can't do this a lot of times without you. Michelle, thanks for all your help as well. And then we, quite, we have the wonderful Tom Mealy, Vicky Mealy, Janine Zerilli, and Tommy Marr who own the station. Without them, we wouldn't even have a madhouse. And one shameless plug for tonight. Go ahead. My shameless plug is tonight on another network. That would be TV World. At 10 o'clock, watch Younger because Excuse it's like me. an... TV Land. TV Land. <laughs> Did I say TV Land? It's it's the TV World. Oh. <laughs> There's well, Disney World and Disneyland. I guess you got confused. I guess right? I got confused. So, so, to, wa so to watch TV Younger, Land. which is like my favorite show, turn it on to TV Land mm -hmm. at 10 o'clock. I watched Sutton Foster and uh, the team Hillary there, Duff. Hillary Duff, and oh. some of the others that are really amazing. So watch that show. I think they, they're great. Um, and as for great, you guys are great. And I wanted to uh, uh, just ask you one or two more questions now. Um, and those questions, why don't you ask the last set? Because um, I, re I can't remember them. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so you're available for parties <laughs> and for block parties, mm -hmm. laundromat grand openings, weddings. Are there ever weddings. any? Yeah, are, there ever, are there ever any other instruments that you have incorporate into your band depending upon the venue that you're playing at? We can do that. We, mm -hmm. we, oh, it's possible. We haven't done it yet. Yeah, okay. we're open to it. We can yeah. definitely throw in like saxophone. Saxophone yeah. or want to be doing more like a yeah, yeah like a drums. brass. Mm -hmm. band. band, kind of like a like New Orleans style kind of a thing. What about like a kazoo or something? No. I mean, anything. You're hiring. Would you like yeah, right? to play yeah, with you us? Kazoo player. We're auditioning. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right? That's very sweet of you. You're right. auditioning for a kazoo. Yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> so, let's just do that. It's a very important part. Yeah. That's a great thing. That's awesome. Kazoo kid. So, mm -hmm. you guys never went for the traditional guitars and, and bass guitars and drums and things, or no? When I was a kid, I tried. Yeah. 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 I'm never very good at guitars. Yeah, guitars. I tried the I wasn't good with the strings. Did you? Uh, it's... Yeah, it hurts my wrists. Yeah. yeah it's a lot of I like the yeah. calluses and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see. That's pretty interesting. And you're quiet. Why? Um, he played I used well. to play guitar for a little bit, but um, I played trumpet since you know I was 10. I was actually going to play viola. But funny story, the, nor the morning of, my mom's like, you definitely don't want to play viola. And she wrote trumpet down for me on it, and there you go. Thanks, yeah. Mom. I used to play the violin. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I was the first violin's instrument. Violin's very hard. I'm not good at I it. I got too lazy. Yeah, it's really <laughs> tough. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I played all the way through high school. It hurts. Oh, wow. mm -hmm. yeah. That's the worst part. Featured violin solos next mm -hmm. time. Yeah, we can. Uh, I don't yeah. know. <laughs> I haven't played in a long time. <laughs> Now you guys just exemplify excellent, in my opinion. That's you guys you. are great for yes. what Thank you, you do. Thank you. And all the good stuff. You, you know? have to see the video of what we're talking about. Oh, with the dancing. Now, how are they going to see that without us showing them? This? Mm. We will show them. Great. Yeah, we'd be really. Yeah. We'd love to see it. Yeah. Awesome. So when's the next time you're playing somewhere live? That becomes the last question of the night. Um, the next kind of thing we have set up is. Is not till June. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Where in June? Um, we're gonna be playing at the Heckscher uh, Art Museum. Oh, is that right? Oh. Yep. That's in a beautiful Huntington. place. Yeah. yeah, that's great. Mm -hmm. So you know what? We should put a circle on our calendar. What day is that, honey? Yeah. yeah it's be, so far ahead. Exactly I don't yet. know if we know the exact date yet. Yeah. 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 We will. We'll, I mean, yeah. when it gets closer, we'll have it on our Facebook page, and we can always let you know. Yeah. That's awesome. So that's what you're going to do. Yep. Mm -hmm. So it's after the Tulip Festival. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Duncan. And then there's the Three Lip Festival for <laughs> <laughs> oh, this guy. Um, I was going to say, who runs your Facebook pages and everything? Oh, we, we all have access. We all have access. access. Okay. Yeah. And are you on Twitter and um, Instagram? and? Not on Instagram. No. I thought we had Twitter. Twitter. No, we don't have Twitter. 
No. You're gonna get. We should. Get we, we'll, we'll get. We'll we get can, those. We can tweet though. Yeah. I don't even have. Someone Facebook. can do a Twitter. I'll do the I Instagram. Yeah, I don't have a Twitter. Yeah. Yet, so. no, we don't have those yet. <laughs> no, but Facebook is where we. Yeah. You know what? I still think Facebook. How about LinkedIn? You should be on LinkedIn. <laughs> That's a good idea. I'm on. I'm on that. But yeah, I. Not as a group. We yeah. should probably do that, yeah. You know what? I don't love LinkedIn either. <laughs> Nothing against you LinkedIn people. Like, I'm going to kill him. We don't like him. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to delete your page. But it, it, you know what? I really had to, first of all, I had, a, I, had, I had two accounts. One had to get destroyed for me to get into the right account. <laughs> um, and, and now that it's finally up and I've lost about a thousand people off one and rebuilding a second, it's just one of those things. It's it's not... It's not like a Facebook. It's not a all-purpose type of thing, mm -hmm. yeah. you know. Because like Facebook for you guys, especially, is like a big banner of when you're playing, mm -hmm. where it is. You can put pictures yeah. up. We'll yeah. certainly have pictures on the Facebook in a little while of everybody going out and doing it. Mm -hmm. uh, things along those lines. So with that, I want to just once again uh, thank all the people that work here at Madhouse TV: Tom, Tommy Mar, Tom Mealy, Vicky Mealy, Janine Zarilli, Michelle Parisi. Cheryl Dobbins, our, our out-of-state correspondents, and everybody else that I continually mess say. And, and, you know what? what? And, and I want to thank you, because without you, there'd be no filmmaker show. It's true. Me? Without you, then yes, we you. wouldn't be. Can't be. So thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you for having us. us. <laughs> Much appreciated. Yes. All right, we've got a lot of great shows upcoming in the upcoming weeks. We've got Donna McKenna, casting director, will be coming on to our show. Inside the Screen Actors Guild, we'll be interviewing them, a live remote. We have several other things from the Joe Fuco Music Center in Queens. They'll be seeing a lot of in interesting things this summer. The Filmmaker Show will be out live, and we want to bring you the best of filmmaking, entertainment, music, dance, makeup artistry. And everything else. <laughs> Good night, everybody, and thank you, Brass Blast of Long Island. Thank you. Thank you. Good night.